Hi, everyone. It's Angela with Create Your Future. Happy Saturday, guys. Thank you for being here. So in our video today, I am going to answer a question. Um, a comma, comment was left on one of my videos. Who are the people in my story? Who are the people in my reality? And I'm going to expound on that and share a little bit of Neville and help clear that up and hopefully give you some confidence to understand who you are in your reality, because that is the most important thing here. Um, guys, I also want to let you know that everything that we have as far as our coaching offers, our courses, um, some special promotional offers right now as far as our free course and the opportunity to sign up for free coaching, all of that is down below in our description box. So if you want to work with me, if you want to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching, I would love to work with you, love to help you, um, you know, get to your desire, find your blocks and give you that support and help. Also, I have a course available, Awaken to I Am. So those things are down below. So if you find your need of extra support, just look down in that description box. Okay, I am going to start with reading this question that was left on one of my videos. Can I ask, who are all the people in my story? How can they change when I change my mind? And does that mean I'm making them up? Okay, so everyone in your experience, everyone, is a part of your story. So that is your close relationships, your romantic relationships, your neighbors, your family members. That is also the checkout clerk at the grocery store. Um, somebody at the doctor's office that you happen to sit next to. It is everybody, anybody and everybody that you have ever interacted, interacted with and will interact with and are currently interacting with, these are your people in your story. That's because every single thing that you experience, every interaction is coming from your perception, from your assumptions of who you are and how you expect the world to show up. So let me go ahead and get to this quote by Neville. Okay, here is Neville. Change your conception of yourself and you will automatically change the world in which you live. Do not try to change people. They are only messengers telling you who you are. Revalue yourself and they will confirm the change. Okay, and so I think that question pretty specifically was how can they change when I change my mind? And the answer to that is your experience internally is always going to be reflected back externally. So if you feel bad about yourself, if you feel that you're not important, if you feel that you're always overlooked, if you feel that you are unlucky in romance, if you feel that relationships are difficult, if you feel your workplace is not a safe environment, that you're bypassed continually, everything is going to reflect that back. You're going to see that show up in your life experience. Because you are looking through a filter that is your, your perception. That is what is happening. And every single person experiences life from their perception. If you believe in parallel realities, you realize that you are experiencing your own reality, right? Everything is coming into your life based on your perception. And no one else can create or um, create an experience in your reality unless you choose to believe and give meaning to what you're hearing other people say, right? But basically, that is still coming through your filter, right? Um, a low self-concept, not feeling important, not feeling that what counts and matters within you truly is 
what is most important for your life because you're giving more importance to what someone else says. And so that experience and that relationship is going to reflect out, right? You're, you're going to see that dynamic in your relationship. This is why we talk so much about self-concept, believing who you are, believing that all of this experience is simply coming from your perception of self, your perception of the world. Also, those stories, those histories that you have with people, right? It's all, though, coming from your perception. And all of this experience is what we might say is your quantum bubble, your quantum reality, where based on your perceptions, you are choosing outcomes. And most of the time, it is happening subconsciously. You are not consciously noticing what you're thinking. It's just that feeling state within you. And a lot of us, as we come into this work and come into understanding this, we're coming from that place of lack of not feeling important, not feeling loved, not feeling prioritized. And we begin to look for those answers, right? And we find out that the answers are within us. The answers are changing the story about who we are, prioritizing ourselves, putting ourselves on the pedestal. And as Neville says, the world is going to confirm that change when you begin to change within, right? So, and people that people are, they're real people. Yes. I, you know, it, they're not puppets, but they're responding to you. They're responding to who you are, your state of being, right? In your reality. And it's, it's always your perception of what you expect, your assumption of how you think people are going to treat you, how you think, um, romantic partners are going to treat you, what your perception is of um, relationships. All of that is your perception. The world is showing you everything, everyone in the world is a messenger because this whole journey is about becoming expansive, growing in who we are, understanding our true identity. And our true identity is we are divine. We are divine beings. We have come from a divine source. We have the right to choose our life. We have the right to experience anything that we want to experience in our life. And so the world is going to show you where you are. The world is simply a messenger showing you where you are in your journey. That's why people come into our lives to, to show us where we are, to mirror our internal story. And it's important to begin to understand that and begin to build yourself up and to begin to build up your importance and your value and your worth so that then the world can begin to shift and show you that and reflect it back. So everyone is experiencing life through their perception. Every single person has their own perception, their own reality where they are experiencing life. And yes, it is true that people are almost like actors in this play that we're writing, right? Because the true reality is within. We must experience something first internally to see it show up. And so the internal experience is writing our story writing our truth. It's affirming who we want to be. It's affirming how we want to be treated in relationships. It's affirming how we want our romantic partner to show up for us. It's affirming what kind of dynamic we want to have in the workplace and with our boss and with our co-workers. So we are basically writing a script. It is like you are the playwright. It is like you are the director of your own drama. You are completely and totally in charge of this. And the whole world is going to reflect it back. And I want to include also that material things are also reflecting your story back to you. Your view of money is going to be reflected back to you. If you live in lack, if you live in poverty, if you're always scraping to pay bills, then there's a story within you that says, 
you know, money is hard to come by, or I am not worthy of financial abundance. And so the, the world, money, is reflecting that story back to you. The same thing with your health. You may think that it's um, difficult to get in shape. It's difficult to lose weight. Um, it's hard to maintain a healthy, energetic body. You better believe your body, which is a part of your 3D experience, is going to reflect that back to you. It's going to show you what your internal story is. It is going to be that messenger from the 3D that shows you what you believe to be true about your health. The 3D is showing you what you believe to be true about money and about finances. And the good news here, though, is we can change these internal beliefs. We can change how we view self. We can begin to put attention on who we want to be. We can begin to put attention on prioritizing ourselves, reminding ourselves that we are the most important person, that we deserve everything that we want to have, that we are so worthy of that person that maybe we've had on a pedestal and felt inferior to. We can change that story and say, no, I am worthy of that relationship. I am worthy of having that person commit to me and to show me love and kindness and honor. I am worthy of financial abundance and living that lifestyle that I prefer, living in that house that I would love to live in, drive that car, take those vacations. I am worthy of those things. You can change those stories when you begin to change your focus. You know, move from feeling like a victim to begin to feel empowered, to feel in control, to feel as if you truly are the one and only opera power. And you are, you know, writing this story. You are the author. You are the one creating it. And it is your birthright. You came into the world to do this and to learn who you are and to learn that this is your right. So you can change those stories, guys. And the only thing that stands between you and a different experience, a different outcome, is the belief that you have within yourself. Sometimes there is a block within you and it. It might be a little difficult to find. It's really not when you begin to become aware, when you begin to pay attention to what you're thinking about, when you begin to think about what you're thinking about, right? Take note of what you're thinking about. When you find yourself maybe in a state where you are depressed or feeling lonely or feeling defeated, think about what you've been thinking about and pay attention to that and begin to change those stories and create new stories and better stories. So guys, the whole vast world is you pushed out. Everyone in your experience, everyone People passing you on the street, family members, people at work, neighbors, everyone, every single person is you pushed out. They're reflecting your internal story. And these are the people in your reality, every person that you come across. So I hope that really answered the question and encouraged you to examine your thoughts and examine how people are showing up so that you can change those things if you're not what you want them to be, if they're not what you prefer. So guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. Check out coaching if you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one and I can help you with the people that you would like to see show up differently in your life. All right, thanks for watching guys. Bye.